Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial from sound 4 mo In this video we continue our exploration of ID700 and we are going to introduce the use of modules. So um, I've just loaded ID700, uh, let's click on the algorithm view, this is the uh, default view which you come in with algorithm number one. I have the default preset selected. Let's choose algorithm number seven which is easier to use. Um, before I go into the details of how to use the different modes on the oscillator, let's talk a little bit about how the different modules are connected. So let's start in this case down here where it says oscillator number four. As you can see, it's moving into index number four. So the output of oscillator number four is, go is going to be the input of index number four. And then from index number four, the uh, audio signal is going into oscillator number one and then from oscillator number one it goes to index three and then to wave a and then to index six and then to wave b both waves go into the morph module then the filter then the amplifier and then the allocate and the then the location before going to the main output right so you see for each oscillator one four two and three here there are there is this selection where it says zero C. If you click on it to move to the right and left, you can do adjustment in cents up to 2400, which particularly means uh, uh, four octave in terms of cents. And then underneath you see a selection where it says interval. If you click, you can change the way that um, uh, oscillate operate in terms of frequency. You have interval ratio frequency page, which we are going to have a look at each of them in a moment. Okay, so um, let's explain first of all the concept of allowing signal to go through. So if I start on oscillator number four and I try to adjust in scent uh, the frequency of that oscillator and I play some keys uh, on the keyboard, you will hear that nothing changes. If I double click, it goes back to zero. The reason that nothing is changing is because in the output of oscillator number four goes into the input of index number four, and the value here is zero, which means it's not modulating oscillator number one because this index is set as a frequency. Right, if I was to just even simply adjust in that frequency, now if I go back to adjust oscillator number four in sense, you will hear the differences. Because in this case, index four has a value greater than zero and therefore it is modulating oscillator number one. So let's double click on index number four uh, to go back to zero, to the default. On the other hand, if I adjust the sense on oscillator number one, you hear straight away a difference. And that's because oscillator number one is going into index three and six, which are set as amplitude, so they are linear amplifier, really. And you can hear the difference if I increase the value from zero to something different. So he's adjusting the amplitude of that audio signal going into wave B, in this case, because I was adjusting index six. Okay, let's click on oscillator number one now, so it will move you to the wave and modulation view. So let's start from the top to left. Here you have the same, z what it says, zero uh, C for zero cents, the same, um, if you like, adjustment uh, in cents. Okay, double click to go back to the beginning or to the default settings. Then here you have a button which says off. If you turn it on, it will synchronize oscillator number one to oscillator number four. That means that every time a cycle repeats in oscillator number four, oscillator number one will be reset. And you can hear already a difference in sound. Therefore, if you were to go on to oscillator number four, which is here, you could adjust the scent and hear the difference straight away. And just even with this simple 
uh, changes, you can create a very interesting preset. So let's add something like a reverb to make it more interesting. And let's choose something from Tone Boosters, which uh, uh, they create very nice effects. In this case, a very, very nice reverb effect. So let's um, try some uh, default presets, something like, for example, uh, the environment station. Really, really nice. So, um, and if you wanted to go a little bit more fancy, you could add something else. For example, you could uh, add something like a chorus. Why not? Let's choose a chorus from the Tracer, a chorus from Eventide. Really nice. And let's move it uh, before the reverb. And let's select also an interesting preset from the factory preset, an intense one, this one. So really, really, really nice. Very nice sound already. So let's remove the um, both effects and let's go back to ID700. Okay, let's double click uh, and to the set, settings for oscillator number four to go back to the default setting. And also let's disable the sync to oscillator number four from oscillator number one. So we are back on the default sound. So let's go through now the different modes in which oscillators can operate. So the first mode is interval. That means that MIDI notes or MIDI events are used to determine the frequency for that oscillator, which by the way, the wave shape of the oscillator is a sine. And um, you, you will find that ID700 is based on FM synthesis and also wave shaping. And all the, all the oscillators are generating sine waves. So interval very much um, uses the MIDI notes or MIDI event to, gen to set the frequency for the oscillators. And of course you can do adjustment in sense. You can use ratio in this particular case. If you select um, the ratio, Okay, we have selected the ratio now. And in this mode, what you will find is that MIDI notes are still used to determine the frequency of the oscillator. But in addition, you can use now um, these uh, uh, slider to set a multiplier, which is quantized, of course. So you have different ratios which are quantized and that multiplier is multiplied with um, it was multiplied to the incoming MIDI nodes to generate the final frequency. We also have a frequency mode, which is used very much as a modulator because it goes from uh, 0.1 uh, hertz to something like 15 hertz. You can't really hear much of a sound. It's not audible, but it's used for modulation purposes. And the last one is a pitch where you can set a default pitch which will not change through uh, through the keyboard. And that's interesting. You can see the indication of the note B1 and also uh, any adjustment in, set, in sense after the name of the note. So lots of possibility. Uh, the most uh, probably common mode to use, it will be interval, but it will not be the only one depending on the algorithm that you have chosen and also on the position of the oscillator in that algorithm. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and see you at the next video where we start to talk about modulation. Thank you, bye.